Another Facebook whistleblower is sharing her testimony today, but this time in front of the UK Parliament. Former Facebook data analyst Sophie Jong quit the company in 2020. She left with documents alleging Facebook ignored her findings for nearly a year about foreign political disinformation campaigns on the platform. Today's testimony comes about two weeks after whistleblower Francis Haugen testified before Congress claiming Facebook puts profit before the safety of its users. Haugen is also set to testify before the UK Parliament next Monday. For more on this, I want to bring in Adam Sadariano, who's in London. He's a New York Times technology reporter for Europe. Adam, welcome. Great to see you. Can you tell us a bit more about these claims and what the documents uh, say that when she left Facebook show? Yeah, so Sohee Tseng was a, a data scientist who worked at Facebook for about three years, uh, and she worked on uh, looking at what are called inauthentic accounts, and what she found was the ways in which uh, political figures in a number of countries, uh, including India, uh, parts of Latin America, um, um, in Asia Pacific, in which essentially the people were boosting the popularity of their accounts and using the platform to uh, give a false sense of, of how popular certain things were. And when she left, she wrote a, uh, a very lengthy memo that she published on Facebook's uh, internal uh, website that had been seen by employees. And then uh, that was subsequently leaked to the press uh, and um, this came out earlier this year. And so it's, it's taken on fresh momentum lately, uh, given some of the other new uh, disclosures that have come out. And you've been watching Zhang's testimony uh, carefully. What has stood out to you so far? Yes, yeah, so she testified for about an hour today uh, before a select committee uh, in the, the British Parliament that's considering new regulations uh, targeted at Facebook and other tech platforms. And um, she, what stood out was how she was talking about the ways in which Facebook could be uh, manipulated, the way that sort of fake accounts and bot accounts can be used to, to boost uh, the visibility of posts and the way that political organizations uh, can use it. And how do you think Parliament is likely to react to this testimony from Zhang and from Francis Haugen, who will testify there next week? Do you think it will ultimately lead them to pass tougher uh, legislation or regulations on social media companies? Yeah, they've been having this debate for uh, over a year now. And, and so this is part of a, the, the lawmaking process that they're going through here. Uh, and what they're considering is, is how far to go. For instance, there was questions today of whether or not company executives should be held personally liable for problems that result. Uh, so meaning should a Facebook executive be personally uh, legally at risk if there's certain problems on Facebook that don't get fixed. In appointing a regulator that would be in charge of overseeing uh, internet platforms like Facebook. There's a lot of political momentum around doing that, but there's a long way to go before it's going to ultimately happen. And the companies are, are doing a lot to try and um, stem these uh, regulations from coming to fruition. All right. Adam Satariano in London, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me.